Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another Hardcore Iron Man Progress video. And over the last week, I felt like grinding out the last bit that we need to reach 2,000 Zora KC, uh, which ended up being like 150 more kills in the last episode. In those last bit of kills, we got the second magic thing on this account at 1862 KC, which was just 22 kills after the first one, uh, and then we also got Serp message number 5 a little bit after that. If you haven't been following the series, we've also gotten 6 onyxes and the pet, which was at 507 KC, so I got pretty lucky in that regard. Unfortunately, still no Tans Fang yet. But the hunt will continue, I'm still going to be doing 10 kills per day until we get it. And then we also got into this super amazing freaking sick AFK woodcutting content which is where we left off and that's where we're going to start from today. So let's get into the video and I hope you enjoy. Ooh, one more log and there is 10 million woodcutting XP. Now there is a problem with this, that means woodcutting is now above Slayer. So I think I want to go back to Slayer now, do some like AFK Slayer in the background while I work on other stuff. Because I still don't want to do a lot of like active like diaries and stuff because like my voice I don't want to be talking the whole time talking about what I'm doing. So probably gonna go back to Slayer for a bit now and uh, work on the strength level here to 99 strength. Uh, Hunter is definitely gonna come before strength though. Yo, so I got this wyvern task and I totally didn't even realize how many admin bolts they drop or even the fact that they drop them. And uh, these are gonna come in handy for making diamond bolts leave for Zora until eventually we uh, get Tansing for a blowpipe. And there is the end of my favorite Slayer task, and uh, I noticed that now we are just about to get a prayer level. This has been bothering me because after every kill it shows the uh, the prayer thing in the catacombs because you bury the bones with the bone crusher. So that's been bothering me how close we are, but it's finally the day we get this prayer level. So let's go ahead and do that. I want to say the last at least like three or four prayer levels, maybe even more, have all been completely from doing the Ecto Fontis. I don't think I've done the Gilded Altar for a while. Uh, and yeah, I just do the daily bones, the 26 per day with the hard diary. Once you get the elite done, I believe it goes up to 39. Uh, but here we go, uh, three more bones. And there it is, 81 prayer. Okay, so I got a smoke devil task, and I decided to do the uh, regular smoke devils, not the boss, because I want to AFK, I just want to chill. Uh, the boss tasks just take so long, and the XP is so slow. So I'm just killing the uh, regular ones, even though the occult is only a 1 out of 512 from these guys versus a 1 out of 350 from the boss. Um, but you do kill these guys a bit faster, even without a cannon. I think it's still a little bit faster, uh, and you don't have to think as often. But we got a nuclear smoke devil, which I've never seen on any account before. Uh, so here's my first time ever killing one, ever. And we got some amazing loot. Yo, so I know they recently updated the smoke devil boss, Thermy, to be, like, shining yellow was the uh nuclear smoke devil always shining green like that too or was it always like that i don't know i assume they uh probably just updated it to look like that but i don't know because i've never seen it before but yeah that was the uh second superior in this task we're almost done too and uh, i don't think we're gonna get the occult though all right there's the end of the task i think we had like 150 of them to kill and wasn't ever expecting it like i never really expect drops uh but yeah no occult necklace and let's uh keep on with slayer Aw, oh, sick dude, no way. A curved bone. In case you don't know, that's a 1 in 5k drop. Could have been a champion scroll. Yo, so I just woke up, I grabbed the gargoyle task, I started fighting them, and I was like, we're like 5 kills in now. And I didn't realize how close we were to an attack level. So there's 95 attack. And later today, we're getting 99 hunter. Um, I just finished my boardhouse run, so we're probably like, what was it, 3, 4 runs away from the level now. So today, it's gonna happen. Uh, we're gonna take a look at all the nests we got open up the uh, remaining ones that we have left that I haven't opened, and grab that beautiful cape. Ooh, and I also just noticed that that puts us at 122 combat. Actually, now that I think about it, it could have been the prayer level. I remember it said 121.9, so maybe it was the prayer level. I, I don't really like look at the combat level that often, so I don't know. Either way, we are 122 now. Oh, no way. Hardcore PVM, by the way. Nice. Dude, we literally just got it back to back. All right, let's see if we get lucky this time. This is the reason why I always bring prayer potions with me, just in case I get superior uh, at gargoyles. Uh, okay, there we go. But yeah, I've never gotten back-to-back -back superiors, like, ever, but that was, like, straight up. Kill one, get a superior, kill the next one, get another superior right away. Imagine a world without superiors. I wonder how much XP it's, like, add up over time. I guess if it's, like, 3k XP on average, uh, Slayer XP, that is, I've killed, like, 100 of them, that's uh, quite a bit of XP. Dude, my luck with superiors is just ridiculous today. My XP per hour is like 40k Slayer XP per hour. That's just like, oh. Dude, it's real gem. Yo, yes, dude. Oh, that's awesome. I can't believe it. Like, we haven't even got like a mist or a dust staff. We just got the eternal gem. 
Oh, no way. Dude, what the hell? Okay, we have to leave right now and I have to go make that. Because, like, okay, after we kill this one, I have to go make that right now. Wow, dude. Wow. Okay. It looks so big in the inventory, too. Okay, oh my god, man. Wow, okay. I never actually made the Eternal Slayer ring before. I assume that's what's called Eternal Slayer ring. I don't know. I've never owned one, like, on any account ever. Uh, so let's go over here. I assume this is all you need, just the gem and a gold bar. Uh, so let's see. There it is. Slayer ring, Eternal. How much XP do you get? Oh, 15 XP. Oh, dude. Look at that, man. Uh, in case you don't know, this provides unlimited teleports to any of these uh, regular options on here. So you do teleport, you have these five options, and usually when you make a Slayer ring, they have eight charges each. And uh, if we take a look at the bank here, go to our Slayer ring collection, we have almost 400 of them. Now, this is kind of annoying, but at the same time, they're good for alking. I forgot how much they alk for exactly. Uh, it could be like a decent money maker for low level Iron Man, or at least like, I don't know, I guess 75 crafting is not really a low level Iron Man thing. Uh, I forgot how much they out for though, so let's check real quick. Uh, 600 GP each. Now considering you get so many gold bars from like training smithing and doing blast furnace, and enchanted gems cost 1 GP each, this could be some decent money if you're like running low on cash. Uh, but yeah, I guess I have no real use for these anymore, so I'm going to end up alking them uh, throughout time. I don't think you can note them either. Yeah, you can't note them, so at some point I'll get around to alking those. Uh, but yeah, we have the Eternal Slayer ring now. Unlimited teleports to any of those spots. It's not really like a super useful thing to have, but I guess it is like a minor quality of life thing. Especially for like main accounts, there's really like no reason to have to have one of these. Um, but it's just something that's nice to have. And then of course, I don't want to forget to check the Slayer log, see how many superior kills we've done for that one. I remember I got my heart on 79, I think it was 79 KC, someone's probably going to go back and correct me like, no, it was 74, I don't remember what it was, I think it was 79 though. And now, the superior KC for the Eternal Gem, 122. Imagine if I get more gems or more hearts and I still don't get a Mr. Dust Staff. Like, I don't really need them, but like, it's cool for like, completion and stuff, I guess, sort of. Now the question is, can we go for back-to-back -back drops from superiors? And no, we can't, because I said that. If you try to call something, it's like jinxing something. It doesn't happen. It doesn't work that way. You can't just call something and expect it to happen. Dude, I literally just got another back-to-back -back superior. Like, what just happened with the gargoyles, that just happened right now. Again, literally, back-to-back. -back. Oh, dude, I should have made the totem, then we could have had another totem piece. Oh, well. No, uh, okay, that was kind of weird. <laughs> Oh, dude, we are one more birdhouse away. Um, I could just go ahead and like catch an herbivore, but like I always say, I wanted to do birdhouses all the way to 99, and I do want to like dismantle a birdhouse to actually get the 99. Uh, also, something weird that I noticed is that I have one charge left on the dig site pendant, and this also just coincidentally happens to be my last dig site pendant. I made like 13 of them, I made one inventory like a week or two ago. And uh, it just so happened to be the exact amount. Obviously, I'm going to make more of these um, in the future. Another thing that sucks about this really bad timing is just like with cooking, when I was training cooking, they add the withdraw X quantity option thing literally the day after I got 99 cooking. And now, this Thursday, I'm pretty sure it's this Thursday, uh, a few days from now, they're also going to be adding the Nexus, which means we're not going to have a need for dig site pendants. Um, I am going to make a few more just to get through the week. Uh, but yeah, once again, just kind of weird timing with having to go through like hundreds of dig site pendants to do all these birdhouse runs, but you know, whatever. It's nice to have this 99 out of the way once we get it in uh, 50 more minutes here. Oh my god, literally yesterday I was just talking about how I got curve bone and not champion scroll, and here we go, getting a giant champion scroll. Now I know all of you are going to say, oh bro, get the champion scape on this account. Probably not going to happen. Did it once, and I don't think I'd want to do it again. I really don't want to make like 250,000 cannonballs. Uh, especially camping the Earth Warriors would be kind of a little bit scary. I wouldn't be like that scared, to be honest, because it's so like low level. And even on my other account, I never got attacked killing the Earth Warriors. It's just like, uh, just not something I really want to work towards. But yeah, dude, freaking champion scroll. That's sick to see. It's also the most common champion scroll. Like, when I was going for a 99 Slayer, I got four of them on the way there just from like doing my Slayer tasks. I think if you're watching the video and you do have a champion scroll, I think there's a pretty good chance that it's the giant one. Okay, the time has come. Let's grab out our 99k GP from the bank and use the very last teleport on the dig site pendant to go over to Fossil Island. And uh, actually, let's not forget to turn the music on this time. I don't know if you actually care to hear it, but I think it's kind of cool to hear it because I guess it's the last time we'll hear it. Uh, the level up for Hunter and the fireworks are always cool too. 
Uh, but yeah, let's uh, make sure we drop the defense cape over here. Don't want to forget that. Okay, and... Ah, uh, last one. Let's get this level. Here it is. 99 Hunter. Oh, man. No, I really enjoy this skill. I always say Hunter's like a skill. It's either like a hit or a miss. And uh, at least for liking a skill. And I personally do enjoy doing Hunter. Especially Herbivores. I'm a big fan of doing Herbivores. Um, chins, I never really enjoy doing chins personally. Um, some people really love doing them. After they add the reset option, I don't mind it as much anymore. Um, still not really my cup of tea. I'd much prefer Herbivores over doing chins. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to finish up doing the Spirit House run. And then we'll go get the cape. Okay, so the perk of the Hunter Cape. I'm going to read straight off the wiki for you. When the Hunter Cape is equipped, players are able to teleport to the Phillip Hills Hunter area containing carnivorous chinchampas and the Wildy Hunter area containing black chinchampas five times per day. So I guess it's kind of like a useful way to get to Phillip Hills. Uh, beyond that, I don't think it really does anything else besides the stats. But let's go ahead, grab the skill cape of Hunter. It's me 99k, as always. Definitely well worth it. Two more bank slots that I'm not going to have anymore, but that's perfectly fine. Did I press the wrong thing? One second. Okay, and there is the Hunter Cape. Let's go to a really cool area over here so we can see it well. And we'll put the cape on and do the emote. Ah, uh, here we go. Put that on, that on. Oh, it looks so sick, dude. I like this. I like this cape a lot. That's awesome. And then, of course, always got to do the emote. Yo, that's sick, dude. Today was like quite a day. We got the Eternal Gem, we got a Champion Scroll, we got 99 Hunter. Also, you didn't see it because I wasn't like recording it or anything. I probably got like seven or eight granite malls today. I had like two or three gargoyle tasks. I got so many G malls today. I think I've only out a few of them, but I have quite a few of them building up in the bank. I guess it's kind of like a collection sort of in a way. Uh, but yeah, freaking the 99 Hunter feels freaking sick, dude. I feel like I'm hiding in the tall grass like Pokemon, you know, like when you walk through the tall grass and the Pokemon jumps out at you. About to find some wild freaking mudkips in here, dude. I've been saying for a while I would get 99 Hunter through birdhouses, and after months and months of consistently doing birdhouse runs, it's finally paid off, and we've got this beautiful cape to show for it. But that is where we're going to wrap it up for today, though, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you have a good day or night, wherever you are, and I will see you again next time.